morning, dogs. It's January 29th, and it may be the most dreaded day of the week, but at least you're tuned into Hot Dog Network. In replace of the pledge today, please stand for your national anthem, played by Jason Wells at this weekend's wrestling sectional. Back Frankfurt. Good morning, fellas. Today for lunch, lines one and two will have spicy chicken or barbecue grilled ch chicken. Line three will have soup and salad bar featuring rice, chicken and rice soup. Line four, assorted stuffed pizza. And line five will be closed. A happy birthday today goes out to Antonio Busio, Adrian Cruz Sandoval, and Yvonne Mondragon. Now to weather with Mo. Currently, it's 30 degrees out there, which is one off of today's high of 31. The low is going to be 17 tonight, and it'll be cloudy all day with light snow possible. The humidity has a nice 88, with winds at 16 miles an hour. Back to the studio. Thanks, Mo. A lot of DECA news today, so listen up, you youthful entrepreneurs. DECA cookies this week will be M&M, sugar, and a chocolate brownie. Chocolate chip cookies will be available later in the week. Stop by the DECA cart to purchase your cookies between passing periods. Any DECA member interested in going on a Sam's Club run by, on Tuesday to pick up a huge order of food for Backpack Buddies, please see Mrs. Bishop ASAP. Plan to leave FHS at 3 p.m. Also, if anyone needs service hours for clubs or possibly court order community service for community corrections, talk to Mrs. Bishop today about helping unload food and stocking the DECA Backpack Buddies food pantry on Tuesday at approximately 5.20 p.m. DECA After Dark this week will be 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. on Wednesday and Thursday. If you'd like one-on-one -on -one, uh, guidance during DECA After Dark, please sure to sign up for a 45-minute block on the time on the classroom board outside the classroom. First come, first serve. The classroom will be open to everyone during DECA After Dark, regardless of appointment times. Winter homecoming will take place at the game on Saturday, February 10th. Our spirit days next week, February 5th through 9th will be Monday, will be mismatch. See what kind of crazy outfits you can come up with. Tuesday, Twin Tuesday, find someone to, walk, to match with. Wednesday, Workout Wednesday, show off your favorite workout gear. Thursday will be Throwback Thursday, choose your favorite decade to represent by the clothes you wear. And Friday, of course, will be Blue and White Day, show off your hot dog spirit. Congratulations to all Solana Ensemble participants today. Division one, gold, gold, excuse me. Division one gold winners who are headed to state are right here. Uh, other good gold winners were right there. And then other silver winners are there. Hey, band alumni. Homecoming is February 10th. You are invited to come to the game versus Hamilton Heights and play with our pet band. You will also have a chili dinner from 5 to 6 in the band room before the game as a fundraiser for the band. 
This is your chance to see the new band room. You must RSVP with Mr. Hunt by February 3rd so that we are ready for you. Spread the word, the game is $15 and that gets you chili, a chili drink and admissions to the game. Let Mr. Hunt know if you want to pick up music to practice. Lunchtime Book Club will meet this Wednesday. Also, Karina from the Immigration Connection will be at the Purdue Extension office every Monday starting today from 7, 12 to 7 p.m. She will be in one of the empty offices in the main office. Seniors that have not yet ordered their cap and gown have until, Friday, um, have until February 15th. Please see Mrs. Rennick in the office. The cost is $50. Juniors and seniors, have you taken a Project Lead the Way class or maybe Advanced Manufacturing and are interested in an internship? The last day to apply is today. If you're interested, contact Mr. Blunt or Mr. Smith. You're double dipping with me today. The boys basketball team fell to Crawfordsville Friday night. It was a back and forth game late. Noah Debris played with great effort on both ends, gathering multiple steals and making things happen. The final score was 58 to 64. The boys basketball team again fell Saturday against West Lafayette with a score of 41 to 67. The team has really struggled with shooting the basketball both in the paint and beyond the arc. The team was four and 12 beyond the arc, shot eight and 17 from the free throw line and was below 50% shooting inside. Defense is good, but it wasn't enough to outweigh the offense. Frankfurt returns to conference action next week on the road at Danville. Girls varsity basketball finished the regular season with a win over Crawfordsville, 55 to 30. Kimmy Kingma had 15 points and 11 rebounds. Riley Seibert had 15 points and Emily Michael had 12. Great defense came from Kaya King and Nayeli Anis. Sectionals are in Case Arena, Tuesday at 6 versus McConaughey. Frankfurt had eight wrestlers place in the Frankfurt sectional this past Saturday. At 106, Armando Rowe placed sixth. At 113, Marco Cruz placed sixth. At 120, Jimmy Osler placed fifth. At 138, Isaac Mata placed sixth. At 145, Adolfo Vasquez Sanchez, or Vasquez, I'm not sure which, placed third. At 170, Devin Anderson placed sixth. At 182, Zeke Vandeventer placed fourth. And at 220, Jordan Ortiz placed fourth. Wrestlers placing top four move on to regionals at North Montgomery next, uh, not, uh, next Saturday. <laughs> Good luck to Adolfo, Zeke, and Jordan. This past Saturday in Lafayette was the high school rolling semi-state tournament. Representing Frankfurt were Brianna Gibbons and Jordan Anderson. Jordan Anderson had qualifying scores of 193, 171, and 168. She missed the cut to advance to the state tournament by 37. Brianna Gibbons had qualifying scores of 193, 221, and 198, which put her into the third spot and also put her into the stepladder finals. In game one of the finals, Brianna won 266 to 178. In game two, she won 203 to 171. In game three, she won 256 to 157, making her the semi-state champ. State finals will be at Championship Lanes in Anderson on February 3rd at 9 a.m. That's it for sports. Now back to the studio. Thanks for watching the daily announcements. Make sure to like and subscribe, but don't leave a comment. It's been disabled. Shout out to my mom who brought me this far. You the real MVP.